Okay, using uh, that uh, simple flow, we are going to talk directly with that Siemens S7 1200. Okay, and here we have a TIA portal, which is the Siemens application for programming the PLC. As you can see here, there is no program installed in the Siemens, so it's blank. Uh, in factory defaults, only the IP address is assigned so far. And here we can monitor the status of the output uh, Q0, okay, which is this one, which is false so far. Okay, using that call, we can see here how we have the true value and the false value, and this is connected to the output zero. And at the same time, we are going to read the output zero and then uh, show the debug information pulling every 500 um, milliseconds. Then go, it, go for it, just click on true. Here we see the, the output, as I said, let's read it by this flow here. Here we can see the, the PLC output zero, how it's activated and here we can monitor the status of the variable if I go here now I click on false okay the status is retrieved the output is disconnected and monitoring is also disconnected so about the configuration it's easy just go here and say what's the IP address of the PLC, um, the position in the rack and the slot, and later define the variable, variable that you want to use to play with. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this is for reading, which is mainly the same stuff for uh, writing here it is. Okay, and using the inject node, we just go um, down to a boolean output with true or false, depending on what we need. The um, only setting that we had to set up to the PLC is unlock the, the block in theory, but it's something that it's not clear. In the manual says that it has to be changed, but at the end of the day, we, we couldn't do that and, and it seems it works. So this is the experience connecting uh, Siemens S7 1200 with uh, Node-RED. Thank you for watching.